protect because if your this basic data structures are very strong because in a hard uh, in hard data structure the questions are limited like be very good at this uh, basic data structure and yeah uh, in interviews uh, like clear your approach so like uh, just don't go to the solution Today we are going to talk to Rahul and understand how MEQ software company actually takes their interview. We'll try talking to him and understanding the entire interview process and also discussing how many rounds were there. And we'll try briefing out every round for you as well. So let's talk to Rahul and understand his interview experience. Hi Rahul, how are you doing? Hey, hey Kabir. Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, how are you? I'm good. I'm good, Rahul. So Rahul, can you give me a short introduction about yourself and then we can start with our interview experience? Yeah, so uh, hey, my name is Rahul. Um, I am graduated from MIT University, uh, 21 pass out, and uh, I joined uh, MAQ Software as uh, intern in February uh, 21 itself. And yeah, uh, after completing internship, I continued as software engineering. One. That's great, that's great. So, yeah. Rahul, how many rounds were actually there when we talked about the interview experience for uh, MAQ Software? Mm -hmm. So early it was uh, like elimination round. Uh, so it was uh, com uh, like it was the quizzes. So they, they are, and they have some like uh, uh, some question which you need to like correct. I mean the, there were some coding errors. And after that they had two interviews. And then the last one was uh, uh, more of formal round. It was mostly um, HR round. You so say. when you talk about the first round, that is uh, more of the coding round, the the screening round. Um, yeah, a screening round. So it was basically compromised of like, the, uh, as far as I remember, like two to three section. Um, so it compromised of like, uh, quizzes, uh, basic, uh, your, uh, CS, uh, concepts. And apart from that, there were like some, uh, I think seven questions were on, uh, this find the error in the code and fix it and run it. It was like, uh, supposed to be done in two minutes of hyper time. Okay. And when you talk about the entire round, how long was the entire round? Um, um, to be honest, I do not remember the exact timing. Uh, it's been long. So yeah, yeah, it should be, I think, uh, it was around two hours, 1.4, uh, 1.5 minutes, something like that. Okay. Not an issue. So yeah. when you talk yeah. about the difficulty of the screening round, uh, Rahul, when mm -hmm. you talk about mm -hmm. how difficult was the round when you sat for it? the screening one how much would you rate it would you rate it to be an easy round would you rate it to be a medium or a hard round so um like uh, you know there is some like time limitation in first round right so um the questions were easy though uh, but uh, considering the time you get uh, i would rate it it somewhere like near close to a medium one. Okay, you would read it to a medium one. That's not an issue. That's great. Yeah. Talking yeah. about the next round, what happened in the next round after mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. So, like, um, um, as far as we knew our MAQ, so like as we were expecting, they were uh, be asking us some easy question and medium questions. Um, so yeah, it was same uh, same as that. I mean, they were mostly uh, cared about the your approach. Uh, so it was like uh, easy questions like uh, found the uh, cycle in the array it was there uh, and uh, something like that so uh, you need to like uh, i would suggest to uh, like just be clear with your approach okay so and again mm -hmm. how long mm -hmm. did the second round go for uh, it was an hour round but uh, as far as i remember they asked me three questions i was uh, able to do it very quickly so uh, it ran only like a half an hour Okay, they asked you three questions and all these three questions were somewhere around easy and medium, nothing hard. Mm, yep, I won't say even like medium, uh, somewhere close to medium. Okay, and when you talk about the mm -hmm. difficulty mm -hmm. level of these uh, three questions, like when you talk about the difficulty of the round because you have one hour and you have to solve three questions. According to that aspect, mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. was the round uh, as per difficulty, easy, medium or hard? So, um, like as I told you, I was able to do it quickly. So. Um, but uh, as I also talked to my friend, so uh, be like, be all ahead the first round, but uh, again, uh, it was different for each, for each one of us. I mean, it depends on interviewer. So how much, like, how much you talk about the problem and it's uh, like solution. Uh, Sometimes it, it is possible, like the interviewer is interested in it and he discuss on it. So 
I would say it was great experience for me and I would rate it somewhere like uh, close to medium again. Okay. And when you talk about the third round, what happened in that? Yeah, third round was uh, like little bit up, I would say it was revolving around medium to little high. So uh, there was uh, some questions which uh, might require uh, hints. Uh, yeah, but interview was always like it felt all, always like a discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how many questions were there in that? Um, again, uh, I think it was two questions only. So, hmm. duration was again uh, an hour. Okay, so when you talk about uh, the entire difficulty level of the questions, you are saying it was hard, mm -hmm. like medium to a little higher. But uh, the mm -hmm. entire round, mm -hmm. you're solving two questions within an hour. Again, how was it? Medium, easy, hard? Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, uh, so it was like little higher, nothing uh, like uh, compared to first one. If I compare to first one, obviously it was supposed to be, and yeah, so mm, that was it. I mean. Okay, and when you talk about no, like, was no, like too much, yeah, 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 one thing, I, yeah one thing I would like to point out so, yeah, the, uh, like uh, they were not, uh, I did not see any question coming from recursion or trace or graph. They don't want that. Uh, as far as I understood, uh, they were like, uh, just want to. Do you are you fam are you good with the basic programming? Uh, that was their approach. So it was the questions were mostly on arrays. Uh, you may say vector in C plus plus, and then the, uh, the some questions were on this uh, queue list and this um, stack. The nothing basic more, linear data structures and all that. Yes, obviously. Correct. Okay, so moving forward to the final round, which we can call the HR round, how was it? Mm -hmm. um, I thought they would be asking some questions, but uh, for us, uh, it seems like uh, it seems like they decided already okay, they are going with us, and it was more of like they informing us, okay, you are being hired, you have been hired, and uh, um, till your date is announced, joining date is announced, uh, please go through some material and if you have any doubts and all, please do contact us, something like that. It was not like uh, elimination. Round. Okay, that wasn't a round specifically, it was just a discussion yeah. of you getting selected over there. Yes, yes. Okay, that's great, that's great. Finally, before we conclude the interview uh, experience, mm -hmm. Rahul, I just want to ask you one question. What would you recommend or mm -hmm. advise your juniors to do being a you know, professional in the corporate industry right mm -hmm. now to, you know, actually mm -hmm. do to get a good placement. Yeah. So, um, like if you are studying data um, structure, you might have found that the, the basic is again, the linear data structure only somewhere you will find it. So most of the companies in my experience, uh, start with this and then like they start like, uh, uh, going a little higher, higher to the trace graph and like um, trial structure. But uh, I would suggest be very much clear about it because if you know, this basic data structures are very strong, because in a hard uh, in hard data structure the questions are limited. Uh, I mean you will find nearby questions only. But uh, when they ask, they, when they discuss these small small things which forms a part of bigger question, these are like important to drive your solution to uh, clear your approach. I have uh, suggested many times, but in specific to MEQ, I would suggest don't go for higher data structure in that, uh, like keep understanding of it. But uh, yeah, uh, if you are preparing just for the MEQ, then uh, solve, uh, like be very good at this uh, basic data structure. And yeah, uh, in interviews, uh, like clear your approach. So like, uh, just don't go to the solution. I would suggest, okay, first um, explain them. Uh, what is your n square complex or whatever n square solution or like a, what is the proof of solution for this and then how you find the optimization for it uh, because i i have worked in uh, maq so what they usually look for uh, hard work hard working dedicated learn 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 like uh, motivated to learn person because uh, in my experience the title is software engineer so there is no fixed requirement whatever requirements comes they would expect you to learn on this quickly that too quickly and then start working on that it's not like you will be on bench or something and you will get projects very later uh, they you can be assured after two weeks only you will be assigned to a project that's why uh, it was a great experience at MEQ I mean 
you just get hands on your projects as soon as possible that's great that's great thank you so much mm-hmm. rahul for giving us this guidance and your interview experience as well guys if you want to read this interview experience out rahul has also written an article for you guys on our website i'll put the link in the description below you can always have a look and uh, i hope you guys had fun watching this interview experience if you did hit the like button and subscribe to coding ninjas i'll see you in the next one guys thank you so much for watching happy coding